Hello and welcome to the 10th episode in this video series on natural language processing with Python. In the last episode, we developed some code that allowed us to remove stop words from a Wikipedia article. In this video, we'll take a look at pulling in that code into a reusable function. That way we can use it in other applications and develop, modify, and change that. So I created a GitHub page for code. And this can serve as a place if you'd like to follow along and develop your own set or use what I developed. So let's go ahead and look at where you can find that. So you can go to GitHub. There's GitHub slash Roberts P. Oh, it already has it up there, but it's Robert PNLP for Python Natural Language Processing. And you can see me there and go to repositories and then episode 10 so it'll correspond with the episode. And I'll continue to do this when we write and uh, save off code for reuse. And then you can click on the No Stop Word Wiki and here's the code so just running through it briefly it's just importing the module wikipedia as wiki and then we import nltk.tokenize and the method that we're going to use is word tokenize so that splits the massive string which is the um, article we get in its raw form into individual words so we can analyze those words and then the actual function is remove stop words wiki and when we call it in our programs or in the shell we have to pass it the article title and then once we get that we actually pull that um, summary from wikipedia then we break it into individual words we initialize the stop words so here i have a handful I extended the list a little bit and we can certainly do a lot more than this but it's a good start we create our uh, no stop word wiki, wiki excuse me list and then we iterate through the token word wiki list and making sure to look at um, ignore ignore capital letters or I should say we convert all words to being all lowercase because it makes this search in the stop wiki words um, simpler we don't we don't have to have a capital A and um, an and with a capital A and so on and then once we do this we append it to our no stop words wiki list and at the end we return that list so here's the here's the function cleaned up and I tried to name the variables generally so it fits for any kind of user input or input that you will pass it from the program so I'm gonna go ahead and la launch Python and we can run this code and see how it returns the data and how we can use it. In order to run the function in the shell you have to save off a copy. So I went ahead and did just simply copy and paste, created a new file and put it in a folder on my desktop called Word Wiki Analysis. And here is this no stop words wiki and it's a Python file. So once you do that you can just navigate to the directory where you saved it and open that up so here it is exactly the same code and go ahead and run it so one of the advantages of of this function is it does all the imports for it and once we run it you can use those so we don't have to keep typing in import uh, Wiki, Wikipedia as wiki and so on. 
So let's use, let's say, let's look up, hmm. Let's look up mouse in the, so we'll pull the mouse Wikipedia article and it will not have the stop words that we specified in that function. So uh, wiki mouse, it appears I have caps locks on. Mouse wiki equals and the function is remove stop words with an S and wiki and I simply pass it the literal string mouse okay and here we go here is the article with a few stop words removed And just to get an idea of the impact of that function, we can go length. So we'll compare the original article length to that uh, process to the processing that was done to it by passing it into the function. So we got to remember that we need to tokenize and split up by words the article. So. I need to take the length of the tokenized article. So how I can do that is go tokenize underbar word and remember we imported this in our script so we can use it after we run it and that's a function that takes in the input parameter of this string and the string is going to be from wiki dot summary and pass it the literal string mouse tokenize word is not defined so did I misspell it oh I got it backwards so it's actually word tokenize sorry about that folks Okay, so we get 365, just like the amount of days per year. So let's see what the length of mouse wiki is. Okay, so we get 297. And if we want a percentage of the amount of words that we reduced, we can do 365 minus 279. That divided by 365. And I'll go ahead and times that by 100 to get the percent. So about 23.56. So about a 20% reduction in the word count by removing just a few stop words. There's about one, about 15 there. Not to mention simply removing punctuation, like the period, the commas here, will reduce even further. So thank you for watching this video. It was just to show you that we can start to think about code reuse. So we develop a lot of cool tools in Natural Language Processing Toolkit, and we want to reuse those tools. So do the program once, get the understanding of it, be familiar with its format. For example, here, the output of that function, which I assigned to WikiMouse, is a list of tokenized words with stop words removed. So if that is, um, beneficial to the program this could be a function that you could use so thank you for watching this video you can find the code that I ran in in this shell on github so check that out I'll put that in the description and I hope you have a great day stay tuned for more content